One of my most used measuring devices in the shop is this simple little hook ruler. It's really handy when you're working at the anvil for checking widths and thicknesses and lengths up to a point. It's only 10 inches on the inside where the hook is, 12 inches on the outside. But it still gets used probably more than any other measuring device that I've got because it is so handy and so quick to grab. I keep a couple over on the workbench where I do layout work and get things ready to come to the anvil. And I keep one hanging on the wall right behind me over here. Frequently, people want to know, where do I get one of those things? Well, the simple answer is make one yourself. This is actually just a cut down square. Nothing special about it. If you want a bigger one, you could start with a full size framing square and cut it down. But the square that I make this out of is a Stanley 12 inch English square, number 45-912. In fact, I have one that one of you sent me. It's Imperial on one side, metric on the other. Now you can probably buy these as individuals at your local hardware store, home center, lumber yard, something like that. But I buy these a dozen at a time. They're actually half dozen in a box. And that way I can cut these down for the people that don't want to take the time to make them. I have them for sale on my Etsy shop. Let's look at how quick and easy this is to cut this down and make a useful measuring tool for the anvil. For that matter, they've actually become easier in the last couple of batches of these rulers. I used to drill a hang hole on the end. Now they come with a hang hole already drilled. It's on the other end, but it's just as functional and I don't have to worry about that step. Now I do this on the little bandsaw, but you can certainly do this with a hacksaw if that's all you have. Probably even an angle grinder, but you might get it hot, turn it blue on the end, and that's certainly not going to hurt its measuring ability, but you might object to the color. Just up to how you want to do it. Now cutting with a bandsaw generally leaves a little burr, so I take it out to the grinder with about a 220 belt and just go ahead and clean that off real quick. That is really all it takes to make one of these little hook rulers. Super useful, super easy to do. But like I say, if you don't want to take the time or you can't find the ruler, you can buy one of these finished through my Black Bear Forge Etsy shop. There's a link down in the video description. I don't always have them, but there's something that comes back around quite regularly. I do hope you found this useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down there. It costs nothing to subscribe to a YouTube channel. It just tells YouTube that you want to see more of my videos. In the meantime, I hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, but stay safe, wear your safety glasses. We'll see you for the next video.